Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I am sharing my recipe for the best fruit salad. And what makes this fruit salad so delicious is the balance of the flavors and the texture. So I'm very excited to share it with you. Now a few tips to keep in mind when you're making fruit salad is one, you wanna work with fruit that's in season and nice and ripe. You want it at its peak without being too ripe that it starts to get mushy and it loses its integrity. And number two, you wanna to try to cut your fruit into nice small bite-sized pieces that are fairly uniform. This is just gonna make it easier for the eater to enjoy their fruit salad. And while fruit salad is pretty straightforward as far as the recipe goes, what I wanna focus on in this video is some of the techniques I use for cutting the fruit. So to get started, I have a nice big bowl and I'm starting with four cups of chopped up cantaloupe. Now, the easiest way to cut a cantaloupe is to Trim off the top and the bottom, then lay it flat side down and slice down in half lengthwise. Scoop out the seeds and you'll see if the cantaloupe is ripe, they will scoop out really easily. And then cut the cantaloupe into wedges. I like to cut each half into half and then take each quarter and cut it into half again until I have eight wedges. Then I just use a paring knife to slice off the skin and then chop into bite-sized pieces. Next, I'm adding in two cups of chopped up mango, which is about two mangoes. So to start, I'm just gonna trim off the bottom of the mango, and I'm gonna use a potato peeler to peel off the skin, which comes off really easily. Then I'm gonna stand it up flat side down, and you can't see it, but in the center of the mango, there's a very big, long pit. It runs right through the middle. So you wanna guesstimate, get your knife as close to the center, a little bit off center as you can, slice straight down, rotate, and get the other side of the mango. I like to call these the mango cheeks. Then I come back and just trim off any extra mango on each side of the pit. If you notice there's any additional mango meat around the pit, just slice it off and let that be a chef's snack. Once I have all the mango meat off the mango, then I'm just gonna cut it into slices, rotate it around, and chop it up. Next, we have two cups of red grapes, and for these, I just like to slice them right in half. The red grapes add a great pop and a great texture to the fruit salad. Next up, we have two cups of chopped up strawberries. So to prep the strawberries, I just slice off the green top, then lay that flat down, slice it in half, then into quarters and across again. Next, I have two cups of fresh pineapple. Now a fun tip, if you want to ensure that your pineapple is nice and ripe, just tug at the leaves and the leaves on top should come out very easily. That's how you know your pineapple is nice and ripe. Also, it will smell super sweet. So those are the two giveaways. Now my absolute favorite way to cut a pineapple is to trim off the top and the bottom, stand it up, slice it in half lengthwise, and then you're gonna see that there's a core that runs right down the center. And this core can be a little tough and a little bit fibrous. So what I do is I take a knife and I come down in and at an angle on each side of that core and it's gonna pop right out. Sometimes if the core is not super tough, I'll save it as a snack for myself and as the kids, but I don't like to put it in the fruit salad. Then once we have the core out, I'm just gonna take this half, slice it into quarters, and then run my knife right through the center of one quarter, rotate, chop into bite-sized pieces, and then right here where the skin meets the flesh or the meat of the pineapple, you wanna get your knife as close as you can and just slice in and around, and you're gonna see that these pineapple wedges will fall right out and there's very little waste. This is hands down the easiest way I've discovered to date on how to cut a pineapple. Next up, I have two cups of chopped up kiwis, and my favorite way to prep the kiwi is to trim off the top and the bottom, and then again, just use a potato peeler to peel off this fuzzy skin. Then I just slice the kiwi in half lengthwise, lay it down, come into quarters, rotate, and chop it up. Super, super easy, and it adds such great flavor to the fruit salad. And then the last fruit that I like to add to this fruit salad is one cup of big, fat, plump blueberries. Mm, mm, mm. Now you could, of course, take this as an opportunity to mix up your fruit salad, serve and enjoy, but if you really want to elevate the flavors, what I like to do is I zest one lime with a zester, get that into a bowl, then add the juice from that lime as well. It's gonna be somewhere between two and three tablespoons of lime juice. And then add a tablespoon of honey. 
whisk that all together and the bright flavors from the lime and that sweetness from the honey, it just rounds out and really pops the fruit salad. So drizzle that right over the bowl and then gently mix it all together and you, my friend, are going to have just made one of the most delicious fruit salads that you've ever made. And how easy was that? This salad is perfect, served as is. You could bring it to a cookout or to a barbecue or to a picnic, but sometimes I also like to add it to my weekend meal prep, and then I'll just put it in an airtight container and leave it in the fridge anywhere between four and five days. If you love fruit salad and you find yourself turning to it all summer long, I'm also going to link to another video I shared a few years back where I shared three different fruit salad recipes with you, so you will have four fruit salad recipes that you keep in your back pocket. I am so excited for you to try this recipe and when you do, make sure to tag me on Instagram and in Facebook so I can see all of the clean and deliciousness you're whipping up in your very own kitchens. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Ready? Here we go. So I do, <clears throat> ready? Mm -hmm. This skin. Did I chop the top and the bottom? Just the bottom, right? Let's say, let's just say it both ways. Ready? Okay. Integrity. A fly just flew right past me. It's gonna do it again. Here we go.